What's up guys? Today we are making three black eyed peas in a pod. What? This is so hip hop. No, it's not. <laughs> but they do, like they've got black eyes, they're peas, and they're in a pod. I think this is one of the most adorable cakes I've ever made. I also think that this is the best way to eat vegetables. I love the way these three cuties came out, so let's get started. To create these cakes, I'm using six six inch dome cakes and I'm just going to level each of my cakes and take off the caramelization using my serrated knife. I'm using a lemon cake, you can use whatever flavor cake you want, but because the green on the outside is so vibrant, I thought the inside should taste just as like fresh and vibrant. So that's why I went with lemon, but it's not fresh because this is probably lemon extract which has been sitting on a shelf for a long time, so it's kind of a lie. <laughs> now I added some buttercream into the middle of each of my cakes, and then I just flattened it out with my offset spatula. Placed on the other half of the dome cake, and then repeated that process with the other two cakes. Now I gave each of my cakes a crumb coat of buttercream and then I placed them into the fridge for about six hours. These probably only need to be in the fridge for about an hour, but then I totally forgot about them. I was Netflix and chilling and I was watching the second season of 13 Reasons Why. Wow, just, oh God. I love the series. I think it's so entertaining, but I also think that the message behind the show is like it's so important because it deals with a lot of issues that are present in our culture today you know, they've always been present but now we're actually like talking about them if you're watching the show let me know in the comments what you think because i'd love to hear your thoughts and also why is everyone in the school like such a hottie my high school was not filled with that many good looking people it was filled with kids that look like this <laughs> now let's get back to our cake. I took my cakes out of the fridge and then I placed on some black gloves that I wet with a little bit of water and I just ran my hands over the cakes so that I can get the surface extremely smooth. Notice I don't put like a second layer of buttercream. First I did it because I was being cheap <laughs> but then I realized that I don't like that much sweetness. I'd rather just get straight to the cake. So if you want to add a second coat of buttercream you can do it. No one's stopping you. Do what you want. Do you boo boo, okay? Gosh. Now once my surface was completely flat, I added a lime green like wasabi layer. What color is this? Ooh, it's like a soda pop or like a citrus peel. Also, that's a good possibility. And if you're trying to recreate this cake, uh Go Go Lime would also be acceptable. That's a really pretty color. Now I covered my entire cake with my fondant. And if you know me and you've watched my videos before, which you probably have, and if you haven't, that's fine too. Then you know that I don't like sphere cakes because they're so hard to cover. But this was amazing because I knew that there was gonna be this large piece of fondant to create the pea pod, so I didn't worry about the bottom of these cakes at all. And I just made sure that the top of the cake was flat and looked pretty, because that's where my peas' faces are gonna be. This cake was really easy to make because there's no carving at all, and you can hide all of the mistakes at the bottom super easily. I cut away the excess fondant with my meatball. And then I start to add all of their facial features on. Now to attach all of my fondant features, I'm just using a paintbrush with a little bit of magic sauce on it. Everything sticks so well with magic sauce. I added my black eyes, my peas smile, and two catch lights. And I wanted these peas to be extra cute, so I used some color powder and just gave each of them rosy cheeks. It's so cute. And I created all of these facial features with black and red fondants. I just used different cookie cutters to get different variations of the same characteristics. So they all 
look the same, but they all are kind of different. But I did make sure that one of them had a crooked smile, because I love crooked smiles. Aren't they cute? They're just a little bit different, but they're all really similar. I place all of my cakes onto a cake board, and the two cakes that are on the ends, I actually added half of a craft stick into the sides of each of the cakes. So then when I add the large piece of like pea pod fondant on the end, I can just lean them up against the arts and craft sticks to get the shape of the pod. I wanted to create more of a separation between the pea pod and the peas, so I added some cotton balls in between the two so that when the fondant hardened, I could just take off the cotton balls and there would be a space in between them. Now at the back, I took some sculpting tools and just pushed it into the bottom of the cake and just cut away the excess using meatball. Now I added on the front piece of my pea pot and using a little bit of magic sauce, I just glued it to the arts and craft stick. And then at the bottom, again, I just repeated that process of pushing it into the cakes and then cutting away the excess with my parent knife. And voila, my three black eyed peas in a pod were complete. They're so cute, aren't they? These are essentially the peas in a pod from Toy Story, but I didn't give them the zipper because I wanted them to be actual peas as opposed to toy peas. I'm curious, even though they are so similar, which one is your favorite? You already know I love the Crooked Smile, so that's the one I like. That's the one I'm gonna eat last so that I could live longer even though it's not actually alive. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab, and you can be notified when I upload a video. Now let me know in the comments what character animal you'd like to see me make next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.